Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie. In the last episode, we uh, got a few more things. Finally, became the Stony, and are now here inside the Mayan uh, ruins. Here, you see there's a Bone Gate here, but we can't do nothing about it right now. So, let's see. Let's head on down to training. This is the training area. You might you might consult any of the washed up players. Coach, uh, players, coaches for advice. Is it? There we go. Alright. Well, I already know how to play the game. So basically, it's, uh, stick to move, A to jump, X to dash, and then when you have a ball, it's, uh, L, L left trigger, or if you're playing this on the N64, Z to, uh, to do it. Welcome to the Mayan Amateur Kickball Championship. You may enter the quarterfinals, but I advise you to take a little training downstairs first. Alright, and they t I believe there are different rules for each one, so I'll have to listen in on those. There's some where it's like, have the least amount of points, have the most amount of points, don't get any points at all. Hey, Wack, who's this ugly, ugly new guy? May the best story win. Uh... I swear I'm not cheating. I think they get a lot harder as it goes on, but for now, this is going to be rather easy. Because at some point, they'll just inevitably group up in trying to go for balls. Leaving a bunch of the balls, uh, to me. So I can just get, and like, an infinite amount of points here. Oh! Buzzer beater! Yeah! Buzzer beater! I believe I've crushed them, like the granite that they are. You've won your quarterfinal. Move on to the, to the semifinals. You've won your quarterfinal. Move on to the semifinals. Or... Uh, Ma, ma, ha, ma, ha. Is the, is he, he's the stone of wisdom. Those shorts look stupid. Oh. May the best stony win. I'm not getting very lucky with the with the ball placement here. No! It's mine! Oh, I got it into his goal. Oh no, you don't! Oh boy. Buzzer reader! That was a little bit harder. Because I was not very lucky on the ball spawns. I was going for the anti-balls instead. You've won your semi-final. The Mike Kickball Final beckons. <laughs> Making him sound like Seuss from Gravity Falls. Yo, dudes, what's up? You won the kickball tournament, dude. You've got... You've no chance of becoming champion. By the best story win. It's a bomb! Oh, they stole the ball from me. Now oh, the red guy's got it. Whoops! Yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Now I have the ball! And I won the finals! I declare you the new mind kickball champion! I'm too choked up for words! ba da ba da ba da ba 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 I believe there is one more jiggy we can get, but we cannot do a darn thing about it right now. 
Well, there was that one thing that, that, that one area that we couldn't get into before, so let's go ahead and change back from the stony. And actually, one thing we could do as well, if we ever get, feel like we're caught up on anything and don't know if we have everything, we can always check our totals to see. So I'm missing one Cheeto page and uh, one uh, 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 empty honeycomb piece. Some of those may require us to have different, uh, different, uh, uh, oh my god, brain, please. Require me to have different abilities later on. And ba-boom, we are bear again. Now we're off to go see our other magic friend who is not Wumba. This Wumba magic not need global next time. Bear change for free. She hot. All right, uh, come over here. And we need to go get Mumbo again, because we need the Golden Goliath again. Because I done goofed in the... second episode? Ba -ba 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 -ba. As you can see, this this series is going to be a lot longer than Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, oh, I have to actually talk to him. Oh, interact with him, you dingus! You want Mumbo's help again? Yes, because uh, your stony neglected to kick something that we needed kicked open. Mumbo's bad. Are you saying that you are bad or that it's your bad? If Mumbo's bad. <laughs> that dart just... Oh, give me a break! That's close enough! I need to go to the entrance. I need to go over to the... Stone... The Golden Goliath! The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Hope this works. It already worked once. Why would you need to hope it works again? But he didn't actually hope it. I just, that was just my wishful thinking that he would say that so I could make fun of him. I was wrong and a fool. Uminaka indeed. Listen to him sh screak and queak. Screak? Squeak and creak. Squeak and creak, yeah. Good am English. The best for to be am. What for English to be I? For to be English am is. For to be English am is. Alright, let's bust open this door. Screw you! And a screw you. I think I might have found where one of those honey co Yep, there's another Cheeto page right there. So I got that out of the way immediately. I just don't know where that last honeycomb piece is. Maybe on the other side here? That'd be amazing. Nope, there's a sign there, though. Alright, I think we're done here. Nothing left to do but wait for him to die. How about a nice, relaxing bath in the mud? Shloop, 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 shloop. Ugh, that slooping noise sounds gross. But up. But up. Can I talk to this guy? <laughs> Hello! That actually looked really funny because it looked like he was le re leaning down to talk to him. Hello! How are you doing today? I'm the Golden Goliath! You're all right! I need to be the Stony for that! Well! We're just going on all sorts of sprees today, aren't we? All right, outside Mumbo's skull. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get Mumbo back in his chair. We're gonna get Banjo-Kazooie. We're gonna turn to the Stony. Go grab that honeycomb piece. We're gonna turn back into Banjo-Kazooie. We're gonna go grab that, that Cheeto page, and then we're gonna uh, go into that temple and possibly win. Oh! I burned my bottom. I burned my blossom. All right, uh, let's let's be on the move, shall we? I guess these warp pads are here because this this without them it would make traveling like awful. And I know later on it gets a lot worse. All right, near one was wigwam. We're going stony on this one. We're going stony age on this one. I'm getting stony. Jump in the pool. Ah, nice, relaxing, and a lovely upskirt shot of you, Humba. All right, enough perversion, we're out. Okay, maybe one more. She's got me rock hard. There, I'm done. Come and have a go. 
if you think you're hot enough. I need to go to the entrance of this place. Boom! Last honeycomb piece. Is there anything else in here? The space is a lot bigger than it needs to be for that. Something is like Donkey Kong or like Donkey Kong Country, where you can attack and then jump. Actually, Banjo Kazooie did that. In fact, this game this game is doing it when I'm not in stony form. You know what? That's that's my challenge for this. I'm going to make an innuendo towards Humble Wumba every time I transform into something that she transforms me into. There are going to be some very difficult ones ahead. I can I can rest assured. Ah, the pun. Nothing more lewd and low-brow than the sexual pun. Otherwise known as an innuendo. Alright, uh... We want to go to the... Actually, we want to stay right here. What was I thinking? Uh, this ain't the way. The way we want to go is up here. I was really hoping those those dart statues would, would leave, but they're here to stay, it looks like. When they open their eyes, things go horribly wrong. Alright. This is where you activate my cheats. Stand on the podium if you want to know how. You must spell out the word the cheat code I have given you. Use the left stick to move and aim against slight, uh, slightly and LT and RT day fire. Aim carefully though. If you hit a wrong letter, you'll have to start again. So I don't think we can actually do anything right now. That's not how you spell one of my cheats. I'm afraid you'll have to start with the first letter again. Yeah, okay, so this is literally just for cheats. Oh, nothing else here. I thought this would, get, this would get us a Jiggy, and then, uh... And then the Jiggy involving the, uh, the little mouse... Uh... Yeah, the, the Jiggy involving the little mouse wouldn't be for, um... Would be for the another level. Get out of here! I'm gonna keep moving along here. Nice and delicately now. Cause you- Y'all's a turkey. We got another Cheeto page, which is the last one in this level. I believe that's everything we can do for right now, honestly. But I kind of want to see what that sign has to say on the other side of this. We just put a snake into an eternal slumber. I ironic, considering the hypnosis myth. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, okay. Grab onto the edge, Banjo, and get to that sign! It is a sign of utmost importance. We must know what that sign says. And the big moment is... Don't peck at it. Press left stick only slightly will make you tiptoe silently. Yep. That was our big clue. And that's probably what we were supposed to do when we were trying to get Target, uh, Target's price... Uh, yeah, Target... I'm sorry, targets his priceless relic thingy for uh, for uh, Chief Bloatson. All right, let me just check the totals again because I think we got everything we can in this level. There's only one Jiggy we have left in here, but it requires an ability we do not have yet. Yep, we got everything. And we spent an hour here doing it. Oh, hurry up, he's coming! All right, down we go, and out we go as well. So I believe we can actually open the next two levels with the amount of jiggies we have. Um, I think we'll go one at a time only because of the... Oh wait, was there, is there a back end to this? No, but there's some uh, extra feathers around here. I probably could use some of those feathers when facing off against those like, those spikety statuey creatures. All right, actually, I'm, con I'm concerned now. Like, do these actually tell me hints at this point? Uh, when fortune smiles, here will be written the Jiggy Secrets. Huh, well, I guess not. All right, so now we need four, we have 10. Let's do the next puzzle. Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 2. Oh. Oh. 
Camel. Nope, that is not the right spot. You go here. You go down here. These puzzles are so hard. Can I actually, can I even flip these? No, you get the ability to flip them later. When this gets harder. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge too. So now the great one will now, sh will show you the way. Ba, 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 ba. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Isla Hags on the plateau. We now have the ability to come up here with our newfound, uh, with our newfound uh, climbing ability. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 3. I'm gonna wait on that one because that'll be sort of a thing back here. Back here, we can see there's a few hint signs back here. Have you looked on the roof of the Red Ginger House? house? Which world is where fortune may smile upon you? An egg container followed by jingling? Wait, what? An egg container followed by jingling. Huh. So only one of those things really made sense to me, and that was the checking on top of the of the Red Jinjo house. Because we've we've seen a panning shot of it, uh, where it shows us what is on top of the Red Jinjo house, and it's one of those big note things. Currently we can't I, I don't believe we could reach that at the moment. Hello. There's a few things I believe we can do here in the overworld. First off, there's a path down here I don't believe we've explored. Come in here, we get... Wait, where is this? Oh, this... Wait, oh, this goes back to the Jinjo village, okay. Well, actually, I think we could do something here as well. Because I believe... If we go all the way to the other side of the Jinjo village... Yep, I can see it already. There is a ledge that we can we can uh, grapple across. Anything behind Jingling's house? No, just more. Oh wait, there might be. I see something that looks like a ledge we can grapple on there as well. Let's check over there. Nope, never mind. That's a. <laughs> that is wood. Just a texture of wood. I'm playing this in 1080p. I didn't even realize that. Not enough. We need 4K, 8K, 12K, 24K. 48k, 96k, 192k. All the Ks, just all the Ks. Special K. Uh, K Jewelers. Every kiss begins with K. Any you okay? You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Let's see what happens when we go over here, huh? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hoist yourself up here and... Ooh, chili. <gasps> that looks like a Banjo Kazooie game pack. I wonder what's inside. So, whoa, it's a spangly golden egg. Just take care of it. So, this is how, in the N64 version, they got around the issue with the stop and swap. So, in the N64 version, in Banjo Kazooie. There was a series of eggs that you could find around the world. I didn't mean to take damage there. And what these eggs would do... What these eggs would do is they would unlock things for Banjo-Tooie. And how they were supposed to work was that you were supposed to be able to... to when you turn off the N64, you're supposed to take out the Banjo-Kazooie game pack and put in the Banjo-Tooie game pack, and the data would be able to transfer over that way. Because uh, the N64 would be able to hold on to the RAM that it had saved for up to, uh, I believe it was a minute at that point. A glitch in the game, however, caused it to only last for one second. So it was impossible to actually transfer over the the eggs. What they ended up doing, what, uh, their solution to it instead was to have the eggs be in Banjo, uh, be in Banjo-Tooie. What is down this hole here? That is the bottles. Oh, wait, 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 I see, okay. I see what I did. So what I did was I came from, I went down there and I went through a hole that took me back to the Jinjo village. I was like, I don't remember coming from there. Oh, actually, we can take care of that stop and swap thing right here. Bye. 
Mom, hello, Clark. Haggy the Hen. Uh, hi, Haggy. I assume something egg-related happens in here. Mom, clever bear. Mom, find special egg clock, then Haggy hatch. I believe I I have one. Can I talk to you again? Do you want Haggy to hatch the egg? Yes. Clock, got Haggy special egg clock. You see something we don't? I'm some, uh, I suppose it is a 10 years old. Does smell like. <laughs> Throw it in the nest. No, this is, this is the golden egg we just got. Okay. Mark, watch Eggy hatch. Buck, buck, buck. And we get. Clock, the special Heggy Egg Awards Gamer Pick. Clock, looks nice, Clock. Well, I like it. Amazing. And I thought eggs uh, had birds in them. So I don't know if these are all gamer picks in this one, but I do remember them award, uh, rewarding you some pretty useful stuff in Banjo because in, uh, in Banjo 2 and the S64. Oh, swooping down on me, will ya? Not cool, not cool. I'll find the, um, as the game goes on, I'll be finding the rest of those eggs and, uh, and getting them. In fact, there's one in Spiral Mountain, we just can't get to it quite yet. All right, I think we've, uh, we faffed about enough here. So, let's, actually, there is one other thing I believe we can do right now. You're probably going, thinking to yourself, oh, just get on with it. But I like to, I like to explore in these kinds of games. I'm trying to- oh my god. I'm trying to be informative as well as entertaining. And, well, as much as I'm trying to be informative, I might not be all that informative for too long, because starting to get to the points where my memory's a little bit fuzzy. I do have a guide open, but it's very text-heavy, so... Oh, yep, yeah, no, this just leads to the plateau. So where does that- wait, where does that drill hole lead to, then? Well, now I'm- now I'm curious. You have piqued my curiosity. I wish to know where this drill hole ends up. Show me, you must show me where this drill hole go goes. Oh, actually, it might just be plugged. Oh, there's a Jinjo back there. Hopefully a Jinjo? Yes, it is, okay, good. Uh, you'll, you'll see why, I'm, why I was nervous about, about that Jinjo in maybe just a minute here, but maybe later. So let's just say sometimes when you hear help, it's not always the best thing to heed that call for help. All right, is this guy back? Yes, he is. Oh, for I'm hanging on a ledge here. Uh, I just wanted to keep moving, but no, that honeycomb was like, uh, I'm gonna make you play a game to get all your health back. How's that sound? And I'm like, it sounds awful. Don't ever do it again. See, it's good to check every nook and cranny. I can hear one. Can I get up there? Oh, I can definitely get up there and just latch onto the edge. There we go. Ba boom Getting ourselves some music notes here. Be able to learn some of Jam Jar's specialty techniques. Oh, this is where they came out of the ground of, huh? There's another silo here, so let's bust that open. All right. Let's see. Uh, why couldn't I run up that? Oh, come on, that seems f on the on the ball there. Come on. No, oh my God, I, I don't think I'm getting up there then. Well, that just sucks. This Jiggy Wiggy's altar of knowledge. Press B to view the Mighty One's wisdom. Well, this here is Glitter Gulch Mine, but we're not gonna be doing that quite yet. Let's get some more stuff around here first. Now's the time for you to learn shooting eggs at Crackle and Burn. Yeah, so now in addition to our regular eggs, we don't have fire eggs. They do not shoot as uh, quickly as fire eggs, but they, as regular eggs. Brand new egg you have acquired. Now I'll tell you how they're fired. Tap RB and LB and get your egg view on. Tap it again until it's right for you. Dismissed. So yes, what we got here. If we hit left uh, left and right bumper, we can uh, cycle through our eggs. And when we get the one we want, being the fire egg, we can take aim and fire. If I was a good shot, that would have been a really good explanation of that. But I'm not, so it wasn't. 
I believe that just leads further up the mountain. And I don't believe we want to go there quite yet. So let's hold off on that for now. And check out a couple more of the things around here. Well, I can hear someone whistling for me. Oh, don't tell me he's under the rock. That poor Jinjo. Can I make it up here? Yes, I can. Thank goodness. I was afraid it was going to be another one of those situations where it's like, yeah, you're just going to slide back down. Also, I want to make... Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! All right, actually, with, th with four, this is very fortuitous for us, because now... Welcome to Honeybee's Hive! Whoa! Pretty well endowed for a bee. I'm Honeybee, Mistress of the Honey. Ah, oh, why couldn't you be Mistress of the Jiggies instead? Because that would have made your quest too easy. However, I can grant you extra honey energy units in return for empty honeycombs. I suppose that's better than nothing. Don't be so rude, Kazooie. Oh, sorry, wasp lady. I'm Honeybee, a bee, not a wasp. Right you, you, right you are, Hornet Girl. You have enough honeycombs for two more units of energy. Do you want to trade? Yes. Sure, honey. Toss your honeycombs over here, then, then Big Bear. Here's your extra honey energy. All right, so basically how this works is it starts off at one uh, empty honeycomb piece you required to, for in order to get an energy upgrade. Then three, then five, then seven. It goes up er two by two every time until I believe nine is the last one. That's just going off what I had at the top of my head. Oh my god. Although I appear to have gone well over time here. And I don't believe we can get up there yet. And even if we could, that there's something up there that I can't even do right now. So, next time on banjo Tui, we're going to be heading down into Glitter Gulch Mine. See you all then. Later.